Welcome to Scanny TV or YouTube once again. Let's see some latest updates coming in from the camp of Blackstars team, Blackstars players, and some other latest updates we need to know on this channel. Mohamed Kudus, he's trending again. And why is Kudus trending this time around? Not a good news for him at all. We will talk about this because it just looks like Ghanaian players in the EPL are just unlucky. Well, we'll look at it. In this update, Inyaki Williams Alpha. Today, I'm getting some confirmation, which is not a good news at all. The player might miss next international break games for Ghana, and it is going to be really bad. We'll talk about that as um, his club also posted something today. I will talk into details in this update. Osma Bukari, he's also going to join the MLS club and what are the details i'll talk about that in this update um amate might also be moving on from beshikta to join a new club which club is that i will talk about that as well one player could also be replacing inyaki williams if the player does not make it in the next call up let's talk about all this and more you know how we do it anytime you don't take your time and like the video for me after liking if you are new subscribe to this channel put us on post notification and also leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box and after watching the video please share for others to also come here and enjoy the latest no time to waste you know how we do it let's quickly begin from here let's actually begin from this side yesterday baby just as yes the former player for ghana black stars team the author time top scorer we all know him he doesn't need any introduction on this channel yes he actually commented about the exploit and how good i'm um, liking Sene. so after ghana defeated benin by two goals to now in the ongoing waffle zone b under 17 tournament um he actually came on x to post this i told this man he will be one of the best coaches in ghana and beyond the first time i saw his tactics this is the beginning of greatness it is a process keep going machine so according to Asamojan, the first time he saw like Kensei coaching he was like wow you are going to be great so he just told him that he's going to be great and so far he's doing excellent with the ghana black starlet and we hope that he'll keep on like that and continue to improve on his coaching tactics and everything so that is a quick one from Asamojan too like Kensei, as he also revealed in a post yesterday now let me talk a little bit about transfers osman bukari he has been an amazing ringer i don't know why ghana right now ringers are moving to the mls you know maybe it's because of some things because just um beginning of this season we've seen joseph pento who has joined early galaxy and he's playing so all well over them right now osma bukari is also going to um you know usa and play in the mls for club fc austin yes fc austin is the club that is about to sign the player and the fee um involved in this particular transfer is seven million euros that is the fee for Osman Bukari to move from Serbia to join them. So, 7 million moving from Serbia to join FC Austin in the MLS. Today, according to reports from Serbia, um, the club, that is Resta Belgrade, they have agreed on the money and everything. So, in the coming days or coming weeks, we should expect everything to be completed. The player will now move from Serbia to go and um, have his medicals and everything. And probably by the beginning of next, um, you know, phase, after the international break, we will see him playing for, um, you know, FC austin in the la um, mls and that is also a quick one for you on this channel danny amate as i said probably he's, he might be moving from the club besiktas to join another club in the um, european land that is talking of scottish premier league side Celtic. yes that is the latest update that we are gathering the player doesn't really look happy at his current club that's besiktas because playing minutes has been a little bit of issue for daniel amate even though the beginning of the season he was so much involved but later part of the season he's gone down a little bit i've I also brought you an update that he came for a funeral after returning to his year to make the match day squad and a whole lot of stuff and pair reports coming in the player might be moving to join scottish side celtic so next season we should be watching out if he's going to join brenda rogers side in the scottish premier league and that is also a quick one on daniel amate now let me speak about inyaki williams today i've been following um athletic club per the training session they had inyaki williams and Ike munien didn't train for the his side or they didn't train for their side athletic Bilbao ahead of the games that they are going to play in the spanish la liga and that is a sad development that i'm getting the player right now he has an issue and he's going to have a surgery under um you know um on one of his foot so he's going to have a foot surgery and per the foot surgery he might miss the world cup games that gonna we have june 3rd we are going away to play against mali 
and June 7th, we are coming to play home against Central African Republic. And these two matches, we might not get in Yaki Williams. Only if, um, you know, the surgery, everything is gone well and he's able to recover quickly, then maybe Ghana can get him against these two countries. So that is a bad injury um, that's actually happened to in Yaki Williams. So I'll be following and bring you up to speed updates from his side um, that is talking of um, Athletic Bilbao if they confirm any details as to the number of days, number of weeks or months. I don't think it's going to last for months. Yes, he did the same full surgery, I think, after the end of last season. But I don't know whether it has actually come back and that is also a sad one. So today, he didn't train for his side and that is what I can confirm. Now, if Inyak Williams is unable to make the Blast Star squad, the next player we are hearing that will come in or that will slot in is Jonathan Sowa. Yes, Jonathan Sowa scored um, four goals over the weekend and he's training everywhere. Last two days, he played for his club side. Um, that is um, talking on the Monday. It was Anaso in Libya versus Ahela Benghazi. And Anaso won by six goals to three. He scored four goals. He scored on the third minute, sixth minute, 43rd. Um, 45th plus 3, that is 48 minutes, but it was in the first half. Then second half, he added another one on the 72nd minute. So he scored four goals in one match. And he's been training everywhere. We've heard some unconfirmed reports that Jonathan Sowa might come in and replace Inyaki Williams. If Inyaki is unable to recover in time or um, after the surgery, he is not able to return, then we should expect that to also happen. And that is what we can say on that particular front for you as well. Now, let's talk about Mohamed Kudus. Yes, Kudus has been super for a side Western United, but I don't know why these things have been happening to the Ghanaian players. Well, today, the EPL or the Premier League, they brought out their um, goal of the seasons. And out of the goal of the season, Kudus' goal was not recognized. I will not say it was intentional by them. It's been like the rules that they've actually set to pick the goal of the um, goal of the season. They only dwell on the, the winners of the goal of the month. So month of August that we began the Premier League, month of August, goal of the month, then they will select the winner. Then we go to September, October, November, December to so this month. So all those selections are here. And among all these 10 players, um, because we played within 10 months, Although all the winners over there actually got nominated for the go of the season. So Mohamed Kudus, the time that he scored that fantastic um bicycle kick against Brentford, that was the same weekend that we had a handle Ganacho scoring that overhead kick or bicycle kick against Everton. So Ganacho won that goal of the month. And just last weekend. Kudu scored another bicycle kick. Then we had Chelsea's Moises Caicedo, who scored from the center. And Caicedo also have won the goal of the man. So Kudus in those two months did not win, even though he scored spectacular goals. And that is why Kudus own is also not recognized in the team of the season. But I think that is bad. The Premier League, sometimes they should sit down and revise some of their rules, you know. Just like the best goalkeeper or the goalkeeper of the season. They just give it to the goalkeeper with the most clean sheets. Whether the goalkeeper, whether the team's defense was good, they will not check the goalkeeper's um, you know, um, I would say um, save accuracy and all those things. They will not check it. But if you're able to keep most clean sheets, then you are just running away with the golden gloves, and that is it. Just like what has happened here. If you can recall, Jordan Ayu also scored a fantastic goal for Crystal Palace some few years ago, I think two years or three seasons ago. Super, super, super goal. But at that time, Son Humi also scored a fantastic goal for a side, um, you know, that's Tottenham, where he dribbled from the center to score. And they just gave it to Son Humi. And that super goal from Jordan Ayu was also not recognized. So that is what is happening here. And Mohamed Kudus, he has to miss out on the goal of the season due to these reasons. So guys, these are some of the few latest updates that we want to share with you on this channel. Let me give shout out before I take leave of you because you guys have been amazing. Shout outs going out to, um, let me start from here. Okay, yes, Mr. Vody, I've seen you. Thank you for being here. Michael Gazy, thank you. I've seen you. I appreciate you. Um, then I have Real Lassie TV. Yes, you have also been consistent of late. Real Lassie TV, thank you. I appreciate you. I'll check you out. Fiaco Courage, thank you for being here. Stefan DK, you are also doing great. Martin Dovlo, thank you for being here. Governor Gbekwe is also here. Um, Patrick Asante, I've seen you, Patrick. Trinebua Michael is also here. Bame Solomon, trust I appreciate you. Ameti Jani is also here. Jason Grant, I've seen you. Um, Emmanuel Amani, thank you for being here. 
Fortune Bitam, thank you. Michael Champon, I've seen you. Justina Semenyo, yes, Semenyo is here. Anytime Justina hears about Semenyo, then um, she'll come here to check it out. Okay, Rashid um, Basen, thank you for being here always. Elijah Ando Kinsley is also here. Thank you, Elijah. Um, Kwame Edujenfi is also here. Mr. Kwame Edujenfi, yes. Um, thank you for always watching. I appreciate you. Prince Ahiale is also on this channel. Mark Morgan, you are also here. Barak says, three says, five is here. Prince Amwa is also here. Sports 310. Yes, I've seen you. Ikis 233. You're also here. Baba Ojaki is here. Sak, um, Sakwa Ebenezer. Yes, Sakwa Ebenezer. Thank you. I've seen you. Akwabwa, you are also here. Nanado, long time. Nanado came to comment under the last video. So, what you say? Fiaco Courage, I've seen you. Um, Gideon Akagbo, thank you for being here. Akpom Maxwell is also on this channel. Nathan Diagram and Ernest Amethyfio. These are all the comments I have under the last video as of the time. I'm recording this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to always like the video, subscribe, put on the bell for more updates here on this channel. This was Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.